Fishing, rafting, and camping are all part of everyday life in the northern BC community of Tumbler Ridge. But the idea of finding dinosaur relics on backcountry trips has always intrigued locals. I found a bunch of stuff up there, but I've always looked around, looked on the ground. And as a kid, you were always interested in it, and you know, it was one of those kind of those bucket list things to find something, and then all of a sudden, holy, look at this. When dinosaur tracks were found near the town of Tumbler Ridge in 2000, it led not only to the establishment of a museum, but perhaps more importantly, it fueled local interest. Growing up in uh, BC, in southern BC, I'd always wanted to be a paleontologist, but was told that there were no dinosaurs in British Columbia, so I would have to move. And having an opportunity to work on British Columbia dinosaurs just seemed like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. In September 2011, a team of six, including paleontologists and Canadian Geographic writer Leslie Anthony and photographer Marina Dotis, went in search of Tumblr Ridge's dinosaur relics within a rock layer known as the Wapiti Formation. And it's in a very wild part of the country, uh, not, no roads, uh, few rivers. And one of the reasons that we chose to uh, use a raft to explore uh, Wapiti Formation for dinosaurs is because that's one of the only ways to access the places that we want to get to um, affordably. The idea is that when we find a site that looks like it could be a, a viable excavation uh, location, uh, we have cut lines all over the place that uh, we can get through uh, like with an Argo and bring equipment in and do an, an excavation, uh, hopefully with a minimum of helicopter support. The expedition involves six days of rafting and camping, and the team faced many challenges, like rough waters and an unplanned portage. But exploring the creek paid off when the photographer made an important discovery. What Marina found was a uh, fragment of a fairly large uh, limb bone, like a long bone, uh, could be something like uh, the, the proximal end, close to the proximal end of a tibia, and it's actually the first transportable bone that's been found on this uh, particular expedition. After traveling about 100 kilometers down the river, the team brought specimens back to the Peace Region Paleontological Research Center in Tumbler Ridge. So not only do the specimens just come in and get displayed, but they have to be processed, cleaned, numbered, and all of their data uh, recorded with the specimen. It involves delicate and painstaking work. This is the fibula from the lower, or from the hind limb of a hadrosaur. State-of-the-art imaging equipment is also key to studying samples too large to physically carry back to the lab. Uh, this technology allows us to virtually bring the track site to the lab and let, lets us work on, on the uh, research at our leisure uh, during, the, uh, during the winter months and when we're not at the site. British Columbia paleontology is definitely a frontier feel to it. You get a very old school feel to the exploration that you do for dinosaurs in this region. It's a lot of bushwhacking, it's a lot of traversing mountains and riding rafts down raging rivers to look for these localities because there's so little uh, road access to many of these sites where these bones are exposed. So you have to uh, be a bit of a pioneer to get into some of these localities. It's been a challenge. It's been a wonderful trip.